In this video, today, I'm going to be going over one of the most important things for you to achieve financial freedom. Are you listening? And that's how I lost my eye. I'm just joking. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about how I lost my eye because I'm sure a lot of you wonder, damn, Russ, you don't got an eye. What happened? I know a lot of you wonder that. I mean, shit, if I'm, if I'm watching a guy on YouTube and he's missing an eye, I wonder the same thing. And I'm also going to be going over why I don't choose to wear a fake eye. I could look normal, but I don't want to. And I'm going to be going over this today. So, 2008, I was a live wire, talked a lot of shit, liked to get into shit, liked to fight, you know, that's just what I like to do. It's just, you know, I was young, full of testosterone, and just really liked to get into shit. Any kind of shit I could get into, I love to get in. I just love shit. I'm a shit lover. I was a shit lover, but... Back in 2008, I went to a party. There's a bunch of fucking country dudes out there in like Puyallup. Now, if you're familiar with the area, Puyallup is like a, some country. And you know, there's a big bonfire going on. You know, I'm from the city. I go out there, I'm a city slicker. And I was acting big and bad and thought I was, you know, tough, I guess, you know. And um, yeah, I was at the wrong party. And a uh, guy comes out, says something to me. I turn around and I just get hit hard. A couple times, hard as fuck. Boom, boom, didn't even look. Didn't even see it coming, hard. It's hard, I didn't, I didn't get knocked out, but I was discombobulated. I was like, oh crap, you know? And then they started jumping my friends too. So, when my friend pulled out a weapon, we got out of there, I'm laying in the car seat. My eyes just, I'm like fuck, my eye, as you know, my eye was coming out leaking, you know, just fucked up. So I go to the hospital, they fix me up. You know, my eye is, 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 is you know, I'm not noticing anything. A couple of days later, I started seeing like blurry stuff, you know, it's just, it was all messed up, you know. I didn't, but I didn't do anything about it. I didn't go see the doctor, I, no, I just kept going on with my life, you know. And it continued to get worse and worse. And I finally went to the doctor and he's like, your retina has been detached this entire time. So they, tried to reattach the retina so that I could see again. And it detached again, just reattached. You know, they tried to reattach it, it detached. So, you know, they're like, hey, uh, we don't know what else to do. So eventually my eyes just started turning like milky white and started like hanging out in the corner of my eye and started looking crazy. Like, I was like, oh, this shit gotta go. So I was in prison at the time. So every day in prison, I went to the medical and complained about the pain it really didn't hurt though i just was trying to get them to take it out and i knew that for me to get it removed i would have to say it hurt so every day i went in prison i went to the medical the medical place whatever that fucking it's called medical and went up there and complained about my eye um yeah they, they even prescribed me some oxys i didn't take them though because you know i'm a recovering addict but they even prescribed me some oxys but i was like nah i'm good in prison after going to the medical every day they finally take me out to get my eye removed so they get my eye removed and they hooked me up with a glass eye it looked normal you know i look normal but the thing is is i was like you know what why do i have to wear an eye so i can look normal so that i can be accepted by the public no this is me i don't got an eye i lost my eye big deal you know i don't feel that i need to make myself look acceptable for society I shouldn't have to put an eye in so that so that people can look at me like I'm normal. I'm not normal. I'm not. I don't want to think of myself normal. In fact, being normal is my biggest fear. Don't want to be normal. Don't want to be average. Hate it. Don't want to look normal. Nothing about me is normal. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to wear this eye. I'm going to face the world with how I truly look because I don't have to fake. I'm not a woman. I don't got to put paint a face on so that I can be accepted by the world. No, I'm a man and I'm a confident man at that. I will go and talk to anybody's face with this missing eye right in front of your face. Hell, I'm on, I'm creating a YouTube channel and I'm in everybody's face with this missing eye. Nothing there, see? The lesson is embrace your imperfections. 
Embrace it. You're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Embrace the imperfections. Embrace it. Hey, if you've got a fucking limp, gives a shit. Embrace it. Walk that limp hard. Let everybody know. Yeah, I got a limp and you got a messed up hand, like a retarded hand. Who cares? Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed of your imperfections. Sometimes you can't help these things. You know, you can't help the way that you were born. I mean, I could have helped my eye, but hey, shit happens and it is what it is. So I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to embrace my imperfections and I'm going to confidently wear my imperfections. That right there is the lesson for today. Be confident, embrace your imperfections, be who you are. You know what? You know the crazy thing about it? The more that you embrace the imperfections, the more that you can just, like people think like, they, they're like, man, your eye is cool. Like that's something crazy, right? My missing eye is cool. People tell me that, man, your eye looks cool. You know, who would have thought? Who would have thought that, that, that my eye would actually end up looking cool to some people? You know, now, would I rather have my eye? Of course, like having one eye sucks. But hey, like I said, I'm embracing my imperfections and I'm gonna confidently wear my imperfections. Like, comment, subscribe. I got more content coming. So say it every day. Let's get this algorithm going. Let's get Russ famous, everybody. Tell your friends, tell your family. Get on this channel, I have a very good message. Thank you.